This video is a demonstration of the pillared time lock model number three. Um, right now, the time lock is fully unwound, and the time lock has several safety provisions to prevent it from being armed if the time lock does not have sufficient amount of winding on the uh, movements. The first thing I wanted to note is this little piece here. And you can see that the detent here is keeping this open and unlocked. And that of course allows the bolt work to pass through the lock. In this position with it fully un unwound you are unable to actually arm the the uh, time lock and again because I have all of this area here removed this would normally slide upward uh, with the door attached and that door is actually here and would be set like so and this would then slide in this slot but for demonstration purposes we have this open this is the bolt dog and you cannot manually pull the bolt dog upward to block it because it hits this piece here. And it hits this piece because this here is not allowed to move any further over because of this detent, which is at the very bottom of this time lock. What this really is, is an emergency uh, uh, situation where if for some reason the time lock does not have enough time set onto it in order to allow one of these uh, detents here, which you can see uh, over here and over here, to be able to unlock it, when the movements run down, the slider under here will automatically move this piece back and allow the uh, dog to fall. At the same time, it does not allow you to arm it unless this has a minimum of 24 hours wound onto it. That 24 hours is indicated by these two dials here. These are duration dials. So when you wind it up, it will show you that you have the minimum of 24 hours uh, dialed in or wound, wound up to allow this uh, dial to properly work. The dial is denoted in hours up to 48. And by moving this outer dial versus the inner dial, you are able to select what the duration is of the time lock being on guard all the way from just a few hours all the way up to 48 hours. Next, I will wind up the movements to where they will allow this detent to slide further over, thus allowing one to arm the lock. I now have uh, started the time lock and wound it just a little ways and wanted to focus in once again on this detent, which is right here, which again, stops this from moving all the way over while also keeping this firmly down. Now you will see this will begin to move as I wind this, if I can keep my hand out of the way.
you can now see after I've uh, wound these movements sufficiently that this small detent here has moved all the way from here to here and you can see it just now over this area and if one unlocks this you can move this over and you can now see exactly where this detent is here versus where it was over here and at this point now I have the time lock on guard and by turning this knob here I can engage one of the two detents that are on this um, dial. There's an outer dial that denotes 1 through 48 hours and an inner dial that can be moved by pulling this upward and moving the, the inner dial. That has this detent here and this one here. So if you move them both together to where they overlap, you get a maximum of 48 hours. And then by having them spaced apart, you can then choose any number of hours that you like for the uh, uh, time lock to operate. So again, just pretending that this is moving with, the, uh, with these time locks moving this dial, which of course they're connected to, you then move this forward And now you see the detent is engaging this rocker lever here and is now beginning to pull this slide bolt back, which in a modern, more modern time lock would be called a snubber bar. And now the dog is allowed to fall and the bolt work can slide in and then you are allowed to dial in the correct combination. Just quick note, um, you see all this beautiful engraving here. This is all uh, not only deeply engraved by probably the uh, same people who did uh, Parker shotguns which were located about 10 miles uh, uh, north of where this time lock was made in, in uh, Connecticut and uh, also it has a beautiful if you look closely a red uh, uh, a, a paint that has been deeply embedded within this carving here this is the only known pillared and there are only I think six or seven that have survived that has the engraving extended to the movement plate itself, not just the um, uh, snubber bar and uh, dog work. The other models have the engraving that goes around the sides, but the center here, the actual movement is not engraved. And I have removed the doors so that you can see, obviously, the beautiful engraving work as well as a demonstration of the lock itself. And here is the uh, pillared lock with the door and the other frame here attached. Uh, again, one can readily see why you would want to have this removed because a lot of the engraving is, is covered uh, by the door. Another interesting uh, thing about this lock are these bearing holes here all around the top area. These are uh, meant to be jeweled holes. Uh, they are actually made out of agate and are quite large. Um, if they were to be made out of rubies, you couldn't make them this large uh, because they would be too expensive. Back then they didn't have synthetic bearings, synthetic ruby bearings. So they used agate for this. Um, some of the 
pillared time locks were unjeweled, uh, some of the earlier versions. Uh, the later versions uh, by the Hubble company who made this movement uh, it, it fitted these uh, jewels into them, which of course does kind of obstruct a little bit the um, dials here, which are your uh, duration dials, which show how much time you have left on the time lock to make sure that you've wound it sufficiently for it to operate properly. Another thing to notice on this are these interesting winding handles, which can be disengaged by pulling them outward so they don't do anything. And then you can actually wind the time lock by simply turning these counterclockwise to wind it without ever even having to open the door. So if you have your main dial already set, you just simply uh, can keep this wound. This time lock, by the way, uh, this, a, a couple of examples, I have uh, another that actually has imprinted on this area here. It says, wind every day. So it really was meant to never run all the way down. It was meant to keep running 24-7. And this concludes the uh, demonstration video of the uh, 1875 pillared number three, uh, model number three time lock.